first car, would you believe it? Would you believe it? Very good morning and thank you for joining me again on another episode. So today I'm back doing what I love and that is a spot of pike fishing. We have a gorgeous overcast day. It is a little warm um, but not hot by any means. I probably should have put a jacket on as we are drizzling a little as well. I'm not sure if you'll see that on here. Um, I'm currently in the midst of moving house so videos have been really hit and miss. I'm not going to be having day sessions for probably a few more weeks as of yet so I've come up with a great plan. So today's challenge is one hour and one hour only. I am on this beautiful lake behind me which is open waters, weed beds, reeds, overhanging trees in search of some of those lovely predators. But today instead of using my regular gear that I would normally go to I received a package during lockdown from a well-known Chinese company and I've chose three lures to have a go with. One jerk bait, one spinner bait slash chatter bait and a top water. Now I'm not sure how that's going to go today but let's give them a go. Okay. So what I want to do now, what I want to do now is try out this Alibaba's or AliExpress, I'm not sure what, which one I got it from. Uh, jerk bait. I have cast it already and it's been smashed. Um, unfortunately I realised the camera wasn't rolling for that either. So I'm going to get it out there and uh, see if it can do any damage. Cast like a bullet. Keep it quite high in the water though today. First cast. First cast. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? The chances of that happening are slim to none. And there we go. Um, after having a drop take uh, and then re remembering to turn the camera on, I didn't think it would be the very next take. So that's two strikes in two casts with one fish on the bank. He's looking a bit worse for wear already, but he's only a cheap Chinese lure. And uh, that brings me to the first little pike of this session. Um, I was going to focus mainly on the top water stuff, but um, having remembered I bought that and haven't had the chance to use it, I thought I'd give it a go. Cracking little pike. Um, it is a bit drizzly now, to be honest. It's starting to uh, come down so if it stays like this I'll be alright but if not I'm gonna head off a bit early but yeah well chuffed with that lovely little start to a session be over the moon if we can have a couple more let's get him back in Right, so since we've had two casts, 
one take and one fish on the bank. The paint job isn't looking good on this to be fair, for so few fish, but I suppose that's what you get for two pound. Um, have another little cast, not going to spin that out as far because I want to just fall short of that weed, keep it quite high. Goodness. That's three casts and three hits. Look at the back of that. This this little Chinese thing is absolutely doing it. The seed paste of cast because I have to bring it back through the weeds, but there's no other way for me to get to the open mass of water. Okay, so I've just moved up to the next swim, and whilst I'm in the mood to review some cheap Chinese laws, this is another number which I have received. A um, couple of beads on there, a couple of spinner blades and just that one hook. All of this feels pretty flimsy to be honest. Um, the hook feels solid but the rest of it just doesn't feel overly convincing. I mean, when you drop it in the water, the action on it is actually pretty, pretty nice. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to be too judgmental, I'm just going to flick it out and see what happens. Casts like rubbish. Um, well, I say that maybe, maybe it's okay. It's, a, it's a comparison to a spinner, isn't it? Which they never cast like bullets unless you're using a very heavily weighted one. Let it get down a little bit because I know the water here is a bit deeper. In terms of action, yeah, it's nice. Lovely action, really. It's having lots of little perch at this. Come on, come on. And the second cheap Chinese lure does it today. Get in! Okay, so here we go. This is um, fish number two. Caught on the little cheap chatterbait, spinnerbait with a single hook. Um, put to bed all of my uh, all of my worries that it wasn't up to the challenge. Um, but here we go. Lovely, lovely uh, little, little jack. That's the second jack of the day. Well happy with that. Lovely conditioned fish again. The single hook, so, so easy really to deal with. Um, I have used single hooks before, but that's a very sizable single hook. But yeah, they're doing the damage today. Uh, I expected to come down for this this odd hour and blank, but that's probably two fish in under ten casts. I'll uh, show you a little close upper. A 
and let's get this one back in the water and uh, give that third and final bait for today's little review of Gawel. Whoa, big hit, big, big hit. <laughs> that is a fish. I don't know if you would have seen it on the video. I'll have to watch it back. As I was reeling him in, another reasonably sized fish just came in and looked like it just grabbed the back tail end of him. And he has got a couple of little cuts on that tail end, which are obviously from that that rival fish. Yeah. Been a while since I've had one, um, which gets me a little bit more excited to be honest. And this is definitely one of those. Damn it, boy. Let me get this hook away from you. There you go, let's get that out of your your vicinity, okay? Let's just have a quick look. There you go, you can see on the back. Stunning fish that one is. Definitely got a few slices on this one where something grabbed it. Almost a pug nose as well. You can see that ripped fin on the back. I don't think there's fish like this in here anymore, so this is a real, a real wow point for me. That's a, that is a good, good pipe, especially for this little water. I'm going to bang some treatment on that, um, on that fin and get that one straight back out. Just show you a little closer upper. That injured fin back there, look. So, I've only got about 15 minutes left, and with that, I'm going to change over 
from this, which you can see has had an absolute battering today. Look at the state of that. Well impressed with that one. Um, I've got obviously the other bait just inside the bag. See so this surface bait, I'm going to give that a go. I should have given it a bit longer really, but I've just been enjoying the other two lures so much. I'm going to head over there, if you can see it. It's a big area of scum and lilies and so on. Let's see if I can find a few clear paths just to run that back through. Okay, so I'm in this final swim. Got about 10, 15 minutes left. And uh, I'm gonna go for the hat trick and see if I can get one on this whopper plopper as well. It is gray as anything if you can see the sky. So I'm not expecting great things. Oh, I've got some ducklings beside me. I'll see if I can get a picture of those as well in a minute, but let's see if we can make anything happen with this whopper plopper. And there we go. Hopefully you all enjoyed that very, very short video. I really enjoyed video in the one hour on the bank with these three cheap lures. Uh, two out of three caught as well, which was really, really amazing to see. I probably didn't give that last one enough of an opportunity. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to smash the subscribe button and hopefully I'll be back on the bank a little bit more. And I'll catch you all very soon. Take care.